what's going on everyone? So, it's my birthday week still. Uh, I am sick currently. If you couldn't tell by my voice, you know, or the fact that I'm like a mouth breather right now and I can't close my mouth, because I can't use this thing right now to breathe. I'm totally congested. But uh, here's my week so far. So you saw the last episode, uh, you saw Monday, had the dentist appointment, got out, did a little hunting. Um, I didn't get out on Tuesday at all. Wednesday, I had to go up to Columbus uh, for work. Wednesday was my actual birthday, May 3rd. By the way, uh, I'm sitting at a different angle right now. I actually decided to sit on the other side of the bar. You usually see me on the bartender side. I'm actually on the patron side of the bar, of the nerd bar right now. So, decided just to change it up, show a different angle. Plus, I can sit here so it's more comfortable. But uh, I figured I would give this a shot, see if you guys like it. Back to what I was uh, talking about. Uh, Wednesday, I had to go up to Columbus for my birthday. I did not get to do a lunchtime hunt, and here's why. So, one of the most frequently asked questions that I get is, what do I do for my day job? What's my job? So, here's a little secret. I work in video production. That's my day job. Uh, so, I make videos for a living. And uh, it's an awesome job. I freaking love it. Uh, occasionally, if you see me not producing a video for YouTube every, you know, two, three days, if I take a little bit longer time span, it's because that's what I do all damn day long, and sometimes I get burned out on it. So this week, my birthday week, I had a very, very aggressive uh, timeline, very aggressive schedule, and I had to churn out two full videos and a teaser trailer for something that we're doing in one week, which is crazy, um, but I did it. So, unfortunately, because I was so busy working on work videos, I didn't really get to get out and do any hunting and film myself uh, for YouTube. So, this is kind of uh, part two of my birthday week. Unfortunately, I don't have a hunt to bring you, but I do have four P.O. Box pickups, four packages that I'm gonna unbox right now, um, and then I also have this thing. This is the Iron Man Hot Toys Mark 46 Civil War Power Pose figure. I'm going to unbox this thing, show you what it looks like, flip that damn switch on its back, show you the 28 freaking beautiful points of light, light that some bitch up like a freaking Christmas tree, and uh, turn the lights down, show you that thing, roast some marshmallows off his ass. Not gonna do that. I'm gonna drink some freaking vitamin water zero. <laughs> Try and get better uh, because I gotta go back up to Columbus Monday and Tuesday next week. And I wanna do some hunting while I'm there. I wanna hit some FYE, get some Toys R Us action. But for right now, I wanna share these, uh, these P.O. Box pickups, unbox this thing. I think I covered everything that I was gonna cover. Uh, oh, Mrs. Cincy and I saw Guardians of the Galaxy 2 Thursday night. I was still fine last night. When we said Guardians 2. Awesome, awesome movie, by the way. Probably my second favorite Marvel movie ever made. And I did like Guardians 2 more than Guardians 1. What? This is true. It's damn true. Winter Soldier is still my favorite Marvel movie of all time. I, it's going to be hard to beat that movie. That movie was perfect in every way to me. But uh, I loved it. Absolutely loved Guardians 2. It's up there neck and neck with the first Avengers movie, which I still love. The newness of Guardians 2 is kind of edging it out, but uh, I think eventually Avengers will, will beat it out. But Guardians 2, awesome, awesome movie. I could not recommend it anymore. It was funny because uh, for like the really special movies, this one included Guardians 2. We go to this movie, it's called Cinebistro, where it's like 21 and over only, no kids allowed. No offense to any kids, I just don't want one screaming in my ear when I'm trying to listen to the damn story play out on the freaking screen. Uh, plus, they serve brewskis, plus they serve food. And uh, it's awesome, it's an awesome experience. We're sitting there, we're eating, and uh, a couple sits next to us, and all of a sudden I hear, excuse me, aren't you Cincy Nerd? I'm like, what? That's freaking crazy. So uh, yeah, um, his name was Casey, and uh, he and his lady were sitting next to us. Really, really awesome couple. 
Really had a good conversation with them. He's a big Black Series collector, and uh, we uh, friended each other on Instagram. He sent me the pictures of his collection on Instagram. And uh, I forgot what his Instagram name is, but I'm going to go ahead and share it on here. So here it is right here. Uh, but yeah, look him up on Instagram. He's a good dude. He's a big Black Series collector. He went down to a celebration this year in Orlando. Uh, shout out to you, Casey, if you're watching this video. Thanks for uh, saying hello at the uh, theater. And I uh, hope you enjoyed Guardians 2 as much as I did. But um, that's it. I didn't even get to freaking hunt on May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. Because I was working on damn work stuff. But uh, that's okay. I felt really, really good today when I got all three of those things done. Let's get down to this unboxing. I'm tired of babbling. I'm looking at the freaking thing. I'm at six minutes already. I haven't opened a damn thing yet. So let's get to that. I did get a birthday card in the mail. How about that? Luis Mendoza. Thank you so much, dude. This was very, very, very thoughtful. People don't really send birthday cards anymore in the mail. You get those like uh, electronic cards or you get an email or you get a Facebook uh, thing. I love the Facebook things, by the way. Everyone that sent me a uh, Facebook happy birthday, you guys freaking rock. You guys made my day. Um, even though I had to work all damn day long. But um, Luis, special shout out to you. Thank you for uh, mailing me a birthday card. This was beautiful and thank you very much. I appreciate it. But let's go ahead and get to the unboxing here. I'm going to start with this box from John Largent, uh, Victoria, Texas. Fragile. I'm going to go ahead and open this thing up. I'm going to uh, cut and uh, literally cut the tape on this box and I'll get back to you as soon as I open this thing up. All right, so I just watched the uh, the first clip that I just shot and I really like this angle. So uh, let me know in the comments, do you like this angle more where you could see my Star Wars stuff in the background or do you like the other angle more when I'm standing behind the bar? I like this one because I'm sitting my ass on this chair and I'm very comfortable right now. So I cut all the tape on all these boxes. I did not take a peek inside. Some of this stuff I know what I'm getting because I did a bunch of uh, trades and uh, this is the stuff that I got. But uh, this is from John Largent once again. So I'm going to open this sucker up, see what I got, see what's inside. All right. So I knew that I was getting this one. This is freaking awesome. I needed the arm for my giant man bath build a figure so john got me the iron man mark 46 freaking sweet love it love it love it and coincidentally you're going to see my mark 46 hot toys power pose at the end of this video so there's two mark 46s for you so thank you very much john i absolutely appreciate it this is a badass looking figure i love it and I love the fact that I am one more piece closer to finishing my giant man. The only other one that I need right now is Red Guardian for that leg. It's a right leg. But uh, thanks again, John. You are the man. All right, so that's the first package. Thanks again, John. Second package is from Josh Pence. Joshua Pence, the man from Ohio. Oh, Josh. Josh is a newer YouTuber. He's on the Syndicate page. I really, really like his channel. I think you guys would really like his channel as well. Please check him out. I will include a link to Josh's YouTube channel in my description. But uh, he's a good dude. Expect us to do some collaboration videos in the future because he lives right up the road from me. He's up in the Dayton area. I literally drive right past him twice a week on my way to Columbus. Uh, but uh, he's a good dude. I like his channel a lot, but uh, holy ass! Holy ass! I knew there was going to be at least one holy ass in this video. There's going to be some bams, but this is truly a freaking holy ass. There's something else in here. I didn't get uh, a good glimpse of it, but uh, look what Josh just sent me. What? Josh, you are the man. Holy freaking ass. That's two holy asses that this figure got. I gotta hand it to Josh because he is on top of his game when things go on sale for like Amazon or um, Hasbro Toy Shop. He always posts links, helps out everyone on the syndicate page. 
I got to thank you so much for doing that, dude. Um, I was not able to catch this in time. I was actually driving back from Columbus when he posted the link to this one. And then he actually posted a link the second time it went back up on Hasbro Toy Shop. And I freaking missed it again. He sent me, he got two of them and he sent me one. So let me just take it in. Thicker cardstock. It's got a foil. Let's see if you can get that holographic action. God, this is freaking awesome. Thank you so much, dude. You have no idea how thankful I am of this. Um, this is beautiful. But yes, check out Josh's page, please. He just hit, uh, whoa, he just hit like 50 subscribers on YouTube. Again, he's a newer YouTuber. I think he's got three videos out, but uh, check him out. Show him some love, give him a sub. But uh, thank you so much, Josh. I absolutely appreciate this. And this is gorgeous. You're the man, dude. Are you freaking serious, dude? All right, so uh, I was putting the pilot look over on the chair next to me, and I caught a glimpse of what else was in this box. Insane. I'm speechless right now. I just watched his video, like right before I started shooting this, and uh, he went through his carded collection and showed like some of his top carded figures. This is something I cannot believe he sent it. This is something that didn't even get released. He had mentioned in his video, go check out his video. Uh, he mentioned in his video that this figure, when Disney bought out Star Wars, bought the rights to Star Wars, they canceled out one of the last lines of the Black Series three and three quarter inch figures. He had one. I hope you didn't give me yours, dude, because this is insane. When I saw that in your, I just get, let me show this to you. You're probably like wondering what the hell is it? You have probably never seen this before, unless you've watched Josh's video, because it was in there. But this is something that was only released, I think he said in uh, Italy? I think he said that it was it was released in uh, one country overseas, in, in Europe. But, uh, wow! This is the Republic Trooper, Black Series, three and three quarter inch figure. This is, this is like a grail. This is absolutely a grail piece. I can't believe you sent this to me. I hope this was not your only one. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much, dude. No words, no words right now can describe my shock at seeing this. You sent me the freaking 40th Luke Pilot Luke. I was, I was wholly asked by that. But this is the three and three quarter inch black series, unreleased, only in Europe. I think he said Italy, which is funny because I said Fragile on uh, John's package. Cannot even believe it. I'm, I don't know if I'm dreaming right now. I might be dreaming right now. Uh, Josh actually sent me a letter, which I just found. So I'm gonna read this. Dear Cincy, first off, happy birthday, brother. The items in here are to show my appreciation on all your videos and providing awesome content. Obviously, this is the celebration exclusive Luke. It wasn't in as good condition as I thought, so I hope you enjoy it. I absolutely enjoy it. I absolutely love it. The second item is an Italy exclusive Black Series Republic Trooper. Some people say it's fake, but it is not, LOL. I don't know if you've seen these yet, but they showed up a few months ago and I had one extra and decided to make it yours. So I hope you enjoy these figures. But have a great birthday. Hopefully we can make the collab happen soon. Sincerely, Josh Pence. We will absolutely make the collab happen soon. Uh, you mentioned in your video you're going to Trader's World. That's an easy hop, skip, and a jump for me. I'm like 10 minutes, 5 minutes from Trader's World. So maybe one of these weekends we can meet up there. It's kind of like uh, Frank and Sons, but with uh, more random stuff there. Um, it's not all toys, but... Dude, we absolutely have to make that happen. And... Uh, I'm still in shock from what you sent me. I absolutely appreciate it. All right, so I gotta get onto these other boxes here. Josh, you're the man. John, you're the man. This one is from Brian Bonstell from Case, South Carolina. We did a deal and uh, I think I know what's in here and I'm really, really excited to see this one. This one can also be considered somewhat of a grail for Marvel Legends collectors. A lot of people are looking for this figure. But, oh, it's wrapped, too. 
and a letter. Sweet! You guys rock! Dear Buckeye, happy early freaking birthday. I appreciate the trade. Your YouTube videos are some of the best. I included a birthday present. It is signed by my friend that I was telling you about. Hope you enjoy it and spread the word about him. Have a great birthday week and go blue. <laughs> go blue! No! Go Buckeyes! BJ Bonstall. So, Brian, BJ, thank you very, very much for sending this letter. I'm gonna open this one first because I know what's in here and I'm very, very excited to open it up. By the way, he used Guardians of the Galaxy wrapping paper, which is freaking awesome. I love it. So let's open this up. Ready for it? Bam. Bam! That deserves a big ass bam. I don't know if I'm gonna take this out of the package. I might leave him in the package because he is a stud. BJ, you're the man for doing this trade with me. Thank you so much, dude. I absolutely appreciate it. You made me very, very happy. You, all you guys are making me happy today. This is like the best freaking birthday week ever and I didn't get to do anything, but uh, I am enjoying it now. So this is my birthday present. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and open this one up. He said it's signed. So let me go ahead and show you what this one is. Freaking sweet. All right, so this, oh my God. All right, so this is the X-Men 92 graphic novel, collected trade paperback. This was a part of the Secret Wars storyline, which I absolutely loved. I loved all those little mini series for Secret Wars. But this is the collected version of the X-Men 92. And the best part about this, it is, look at that, signed, and it has a little illustration. So it is signed by the one of the writers, Chad Bowers. This is pretty badass. He signed this and drew a little Wolverine sketch. Uh, this is sweet. This is amazing. Thank you so much for sending this to me. Chad Bowers, check him out. BJ Bonstall, thank you so much, dude. This is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. I got one more package left. And then we're gonna unbox this badass. This one right here is from the great Robert Goodwin. We did a pretty big trade and Robert sent me some very, very sought after pops. Some pops that I've been looking for for a long time. I'm really excited about this box. So I'm gonna open this up and show you the pops that I got. A lot of these pops are vaulted. Some of these pops were exclusives and are no longer available anymore. All right, so the first pop is a vaulted Oh, Ren Ishii from Kill Bill. Frickin' sweet. So I do have the bride already. I have a crazy 88. I now have Oh, Ren Ishii. She is vaulted. I still need the Gogo -Go Yubari and I still need the Bill. I collect all the pops from all the Quentin Tarantino movies because Tarantino is one of my favorite directors of all time. I love all of his movies. Love them, love them. And uh, I will buy all the pops for Tarantino movies all day long. But... Um, this is one that I've been looking for for a very long time and I'm very, very happy to get her. So there's Oren Ishii. I'm a big Kurt Russell fan. I loved him in Guardians 2. Awesome, awesome role in Guardians 2. Um, I've liked him since freaking Escape from LA, Escape from New York, Tango and Cash. Uh, Overboard? I even liked him in Overboard. And especially, especially, he was the man in Big Trouble in Little China. I got the Jack Burton Vaulted Pop. Pork Chop Express, look at that. Freaking awesome. Oh, here's a big one right here. I got a chase in this trade, and this chase is the Wonder Woman Chase Pop. Looking sweet, it's the metallic version. This will look beautiful next to the Superman that I got. Um, just amazing. Very, very awesome pop. Freaking gorgeous. So that's three pops. Got two vaulted, one chase so far. This one is, look at that. This is a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive James Rhodes Iron Patriot pop. Look at that thing. Awesome. I think that might be my thumbnail. I don't know, I have so many thumbnails to choose from. So let me take one right here. Here's thumbnail possibility two. And thumbnail possibility three. 
All right, so there were two other things in this box, but uh, I also discovered a letter. So I'm going to read this letter from Robert Goodwin. Hey, Cincy Nerd, I just wanted to say thank you for the awesome trade. I hope you enjoy the pops. There was a video several months back where you were taking your daughters to birthday parties, and during the hunt portion, you mentioned something you were looking for. I found it recently at a local Target and threw it in for you. Hope you like the surprise. I absolutely love the surprise. Once again, thanks for the awesome trade. Your friend, Robert, a.k.a. The Urban Nerd. And I'm going to include Robert's Instagram name right here. And I'm also going to include a link to his Instagram account in the description. So it's the underscore urban underscore nerd. Thank you very much, Robert. I absolutely appreciate it. Here are the other two things that were in here. He threw in the freaking Wonder Woman pop that I cannot find anywhere. So it's the Walmart exclusive Wonder Woman. Awesome. Love it. Absolutely appreciate it because I cannot find her anywhere. I have not seen her at all at any of my Walmart stores. And then here's the thing that he found as part of uh, my birthday present. I absolutely appreciate it. But I have been looking for this one. It is the Hot Wheels Beatles Yellow Submarine which is really, really freaking cool. This brings back childhood memories because I remember watching that video as a small child. Thank you so much, dude. I absolutely appreciate it. All of this stuff that you guys sent is blowing me away. This really, really, really makes up for the fact that I didn't do any hunting this week, couldn't get out, I'm feeling sick right now. I feel like uh, a million bucks right now. Um, all this stuff, this is amazing. Thank you guys so much. But this uh, brings us to the last portion of this video. This is not going to be a very long unboxing because there's not a whole lot of articulation. The main thing I want to do is flip this switch, show you the lights on this thing, turn the uh, lights down here, show you how beautiful this thing looks. But this is the Hot Toys Power Pose Iron Man 46 from Civil War. Let me go ahead and unbox this thing and I'll be right back with you. You ready for this? Look at this beautiful piece. Now again, this is the power pose version. This is a cross between a statue and an action figure. So it doesn't have a lot of articulation. But uh, you can see here, here's the base for it. Captain America Civil War Mark 46. <clears throat> um, pretty much everything from the torso down is uh, non-articulated. You can move the arms the uh, hands you can pop out and you can put in these fisted hands. It does come with the fisted hands as well. Let me show you what that looks like with the fisted hand. So I have one hand with the uh, repulsor showing and then I have one fisted hand as well. The only drawback with having the fisted hand is that uh, if you see that repulsor hand right there, there is a light source right there. So once I flip this switch, you can see the light coming out of his hand, but uh, on the fisted hand you do not see the light. Uh, but this has head articulation as well. You can move the head up and down. As you can see, he can look down. He can look back up. And he can turn side to side as well. Uh, the other thing with this one is it has built-in articulation with these flaps. So as you move the arm, watch this. You move the arm like that, and the flap automatically pops up like that. You move the arm down, the flap goes back in. Same thing with this side. Move the arm like that, flap goes out. Move the arm like that, flap goes down. But um, the big thing on this one is the lights. So I am going to take the back off. Basically this back piece here pops off. You use this little plastic tool here to pop that back off. And it's got one switch. I'm gonna go ahead and prep him. Turn the lights down, and I'll show you the big, glorious reveal of those lights. All right, so I used that little tool and popped off the back. There is the switch that you flip. Let me go ahead and turn the lights down and show you this thing. All right, I got all the lights turned down. You ready for this? All right, we're going to turn them on in three, two, one. Glorious! No, I won't give in, I won't give in till I'm victorious And I will defend, I will defend Glorious No, I won't give in, I won't give in
How beautiful is that? Freaking gorgeous. So again, 28 points of light, cross between a figure and a statue. It's 189 bucks. You could probably find it for cheaper, but um, I couldn't recommend this anymore. I absolutely love it. And um, I don't need the diecast version. The diecast version is going to kick ass. Don't get me wrong. It's going to be beautiful. Uh, it'll probably have 28 points of light as well and be diecast and have articulation, but it's also got a $345 price tag. This one was $189. You can put the backpack on there to uh, make them look more complete. But uh, he is a beautiful looking piece. I absolutely love it. But uh, there it is. That's the Mark 46 Hot Toys figure power pose. All right, guys. Well, that's the end of this video. I absolutely appreciate you guys watching. Thank you for liking. Thank you for commenting, subscribing, sharing my videos. Uh, I'm almost about uh, to hit 4,000 subs, which is just insane. Very, very thankful, very humble, very happy. Thank you all so much for tuning in. But um, sorry I didn't bring you a hunt in this video, but uh, hope you enjoyed the uh, unpacking of my trades and my P.O. Box pickups. Thank you to all the guys that sent me stuff. Thank you for the birthday presents. But as always, have fun collecting. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.